They're coming this way. Hi, welcome to Morgan Through a Lens. I'm Morgan. Today's video is a week in my life while I was on bed rest recovering from my pelvic fractures. If you guys don't know about my horseback riding accident and the resulting pelvic fractures, I will link all the videos about my accident in the description, in the cards, and all the places so you guys can check that out. In this weekly vlog, I had a birthday. I got to sit up for the first time, which was really exciting. We also had a swarm of bees come to the house, which if you've never seen a wild swarm of bees, honestly, it is the coolest thing you'll ever see. <laughs> The first part of this video is just going to be an update from my recovery and from my bed rest. So if you guys are not interested in that and just want to see the vlog, I will of course put timestamps in the description. Otherwise, let's get into it. Hi! We are about two weeks and two days post-accident and I just wanted to give a little update about progress and how I'm doing. I'm able to roll on my side by myself, I'd say like 50% of the time before I had to get rolled over every time I wanted to go onto my side, but I'm getting better at being able to roll over on my own. I'm not working anymore. I'm officially on disability. Well, not officially yet. I still have some paperwork I need to fill out. don't have any nausea. My appetite's pretty good. Oh, 26 more days um, until I get to get out of bed. Down from 42. 42 obviously was like from the day of the accident, so I feel like we're making a lot of progress. I've only cried like two or three times since I've been home. That's actually pretty good. Two or three times for, I've been home, I've been home for a week and three days now. I don't know. <laughs> so the accident happened two weeks and two days ago, and then I've been home for a week and three days because I spent six days at the hospital. I'm sleeping through the night now. I was not the first, probably like three nights I was home from the hospital. I could not sleep. Um, I was getting just severe pain in my butt, which is a, a weird place to have so much pain. Well, I guess it's not that weird, but it's weird because I didn't have that much pain in the hospital in my butt. And then when I got home, all of a sudden I got really pained in my butt. But luckily that's relatively gone away. Like even now there's a little bit of pain, but it's much more manageable and I can sleep through it. I still have a catheter. Is it weird if I show my catheter? Okay, yeah, here's my catheter. Don't judge my color of my urine. I think my vitamins are making me do that. Um, so yeah, I still have a catheter, as you can see. I won't show you where it goes, but I have <laughs> I have another five days with my catheter, and then I think when a doctor or nurse is gonna come and take it out, but it's going really well. <laughs> uh, every two hours it has to be clamped and unclamped, so every two hours we fold it like this and clamp it with this clothespin, and then we unclamp it, you know, another two hours later, and it's helping to train my bladder. And I'm feeling, I can feel when my bladder's full now, so that's a good sign. Yeah, I think like my main thing that I also wanted to show is just like my, like the progress of my legs, because I know, what is it? So like the frustrating thing about this accident is like really not being able to like touch my legs or like move them really well. So like, I can go like this, I don't know, like, um, so if my leg is like happens to be under this pillow, it gets stuck in the middle of the night and I can't ask for help. I've gotten to the point where I can, like, I can do that. Like that's huge. I wasn't able to do that before, but this up and down motion like this, like that's about as high as I can get my leg off the bed. My legs are getting stronger. About even like a few days ago, I couldn't really, well, okay, I still can't really lift this leg very high. This leg, I'm trying to lift my knee up. This leg, okay. <laughs> still not a lot of strength in my legs, um, but I can do this. I don't want to flash anyone, but I can put my knees up on my own. I feel like sometimes I have more leg strength than other times, but like right now that's about as high as they can go on their own. And this leg, because this is the side of the pelvis with the majority of the injuries, this leg is definitely the weakest, so I definitely like can barely lift this one, and I haven't even tried to like get it on the side of the pillow or whatever. Um, yeah, these are my what is this clamps? Right tongs. Clongs. I was gonna say clongs. Tongue. Tongs that I use when I need to like reach something that I can't reach. Um, 
And I also help like use it to help move my pillow if I because I try not to bother people. <laughs> no, um, but no. I can't sit up vertically. This is about as high as I'm allowed to go. And I'm even probably not even supposed to be using my abs this much to like lift my head up. But in two weeks, I'll be able to sit up vertically, which is really exciting. Um, still can't get out of bed for anything, for anything. But I will be able to sit up soon, which is exciting. Oh, I'm overheating constantly. Before the accident, I was always really cold, um, just like a naturally cold person. But since the accident, for some reason, I'm just always hot. Uh, I, yeah, constantly sweating and just overheating. I don't know if it's from a medication I'm on or something. My pain level is pretty low. I'm probably like two or three out of 10 on a daily basis um, with or without pain meds. Um, the pain meds, I don't, maybe they're doing something, but I take them on a regular basis, so I can't tell. Speaking of medication, I'm still on two painkillers a day. I take a painkiller in the morning and then a painkiller before bed. Um, I'm not, I was actually told to take, I think like five or six painkillers a day. They wanted me on it like every four hours or something, but I'm managing really well with just two a day. And I've even down, um, I've even downgraded or whatever to half a pain pill in the morning instead of a full pain pill because I really don't like the way they make me feel. They make me feel kind of loopy. And I feel like I'm managing the pain on my own without the pain meds. And, oh, the other meds, I'm taking blood thinner. I'm taking calcium and a probiotic. I'm taking fiber, my pain pills. I think that might be it. Uh oh, people are home. Okay, well, I think that's my update for week two. And I will update you week three. Bye. <laughs> Is that your artistic look? You were looking for did you take the long route? No, I just don't know how you ever found a way out. You said your love was all spent, but I'm not sure what you meant. Cause you read the text that I sent, for your love was all spent. And Does it hurt? Well, that's, you know, that's to be expected. That won't pass. I mean, my left butt cheek hurts. Your left, he said the left butt cheek would hurt more. He said you'll be right, weight bearing on the right faster, and the left will just be balanced. Am I braided or anything? Mm-mm. Does it hurt? It looks like it hurts. Yeah. You look high. <laughs> no, that's like a photographer. <sighs> Driving in the fast lane, can't slow down. I like the danger you bring it around. I ain't even mad about it, can't slow down. Slow down, won't slow down Falling into pieces 
Standing at the score and walking Running out of reasons Why you shouldn't be my lover Just give me a nickel I toss it in your wishing well You're beautiful as ever And I just can't help myself I got a fever Hundred and three You make me a believer I can't stop now and I won't slow down I won't slow down I won't slow down Falling into pieces Staring at this golden water Hey, Pip. Hooray! Hey, Pip. Hooray! Make a wish. <clears throat> Keep on. One boyfriend. <laughs> ah, chocolate all over the place. He has a bee. Mocha's ready for some cake. Yeah, Mocha. How excited he is. <laughs> okay, so you just have to make the first cut. Do I cut a piece or just a cut? Just a cut, it's fine. You just have to be the one that cuts. Don't cut me through the board. <laughs> What's the reasoning for me being the first? Okay. Boom. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video and seeing a week in my life on bed rest. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comment section and I will do my best to answer them. I will link all the other videos for my accident in the description and in the cards, so you can check those out if you want. Check out my blog, morganthrowlens.com, for more posts about my accident and, of course, my Instagram, TikTok, all the good stuff. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye. Whoa, oh, oh, oh.